All right, guys, it's been a while since the steals and deals, and this came out a couple of days ago, just a little late getting it out, but uh, I went through it, ended up purchasing a few things, and got my eyes on a couple others, and there's some really good deals in here this month. It is now the time to buy. Uh, you'll see in here, there's just a lot of crow's feet. Um, there's a lot of open-end wrenches, and I'm just going through these here um, in the beginning. There's that twist plier set. Uh, but that you could basically make yourself of crow's foot, flare nut crow's foot set for about nine to ten dollars a pop, as well as you could make yourself a pretty nice uh, metric short deep box end set that would basically go from six millimeter up to 20 millimeter. Um, you'll also see there's some open end wrenches that you could make a pretty nice. Um, I don't know about a complete set on the open end wrenches, but you could get some of the key sizes. And then here's a Robo Grip pliers. Remember those? What a gimmicky item back from the 80s. Uh, this, these are actually made in China. Um, I guess Ideal still owns them. That 916th quarter inch drive flex socket is a great socket. Too bad they don't have the whole set. That's the only socket in there. I do have a set of those, and they're fantastic. And once again, here's just a couple more of those uh, flare nuts and wrenches. And you could just get the ones that you maybe uh, you need if you only need a certain size. Um, and then that 11-piece flare nut ratcheting wrench set, $221. Not bad if you work on lines a lot and need them for like flare nuts and things like that. I did consider getting that snap ring pliers, but don't really need it. And here's more of those short metric box and wrenches i just realized that some are 12 point and some are six point uh so i guess i prefer to six point uh but yeah that's why there's so many skews of them uh in here and then those long panel wrenches are always great uh but i guess you do got enough of those open end wrenches to make a pretty good set the half moon wrench i purchased one of those in the past not that super chrome finish on them uh, but there's the 9 16th and 5 8 there's another one of those robo grips. Um, the battery pliers is a good deal, uh, $12.99, but uh, I have tons of those. Sit it and pick one up. Uh, more of the snap ring pliers. Those said that coming in soon, which is a little disappointing. I could not order them. I don't know if that means they sold out, as you can see there, on those retaining ring pliers and that they'll be in eventually. Um, but the Slimline Dead Blow bought that in the past. Great item. I'll share that with you here in a minute. Um, the 7 16th and half inch, so there's another half moon wrench. And then the 6 inch long nose pliers. First time they've had the 6 inch size, so I picked up one of those. Um, I do like the ball peen hammer there for $15. Can't beat it, but uh, these days I'm into more of the dead blows, and they actually have one in here. Um, there's the 6 inch cutting pliers. The first time they've had that that I've seen in years, so I picked up one of those, or since I've been following um, the steels and deals. More of those line wrenches individually. In the past, I picked up the 7-inch heavy-duty diagonal cutters. The lineman for $16.99 is a steal. I didn't buy it because I just got tons of lineman pliers. Really want those battery cable pliers. So disappointed. I'm going to keep checking the steels and deals every day, and hopefully they'll be available to buy. There's the soft face dead blow hammers, and they've got tons of them in here, and they're, they're great deals, and we'll talk about them in a minute. This tongue and groove 12 inch pliers is a must buy at $17.65. I think I paid $23 the last time they had it. Great set of pliers. I'll show you what they look like. I did buy the 10 inch soft jaw pliers. Really curious to see what they're all about. Um, I think they could be great for um, non marring so surfaces and such. And they got a lot of different dead blows on sale, as you can see here. They're made by Trusty Cook 4SK. Um, so there's a 32 ounce ball peen for $20. You just can't beat this. And it comes with the SK warranty, which is great. Um, the short arm hex key set. Those are fantastic for 19 bucks because it's got the ball end on it. And I always like those. Uh, a lot of SK impact gloves, uh, mechanic gloves as they call them. There's all the sizes. The slimline dead blow is what I ended up buying. And I think I ordered the 22 ounce. I can't remember if it was a 22 or 26. I'll find out when it comes in or I could take a look at my order. Um, the 32 ounce soft face for $21. Just a, just a really good deal for hammers. And there's the 26 ounce I think I bought. I like that because it'll be the slimline and it'll be a little bit easier to get into spaces versus what you're seeing here in the traditional hammer. I do like the one in the middle there the two pound. 
Um, but the indexing pry bars are just a must have. Uh, we'll talk about them in a minute. Here's the quarter inch. I almost bought that uh, sock, that ratchet, but decided not to purchase it just because I have so many quarter inch ratchets, but who knows? It's still early in the month. Um, the adjustable wrench is a great deal here. An indexing body pry bar. I did buy this 12 inch uh, indexing pry bar. The 3 8 LP 90 teardrop ratchet. I almost purchased, thought about it, um, but decided not to. Once again, it just came down to how many ratchets <laughs> I have. I did buy the 16 inch uh, pry bar here. I'm so excited to own that. Did buy the quarter inch drive LP90 flex head because that's something different that I do not have. And looking forward to seeing it and sharing it with you when I get that in here, hopefully in the next week or so. Uh, speed handles, if you need them, they got them. A lot of swag gear, fleece, pullover hoodies. I really like the zip up uh, that's over here on the right. Uh, but $42, I think I could live without it. The 3 8 LP90 Flex had 11 inch. I do have, and I'll show you that in a minute. I purchased that in the past. That six point ratchet, uh, deep socket's interesting. It's actually a 10 millimeter and 11 millimeter uh, socket specialty tool there. Thought that was kind of neat. Um, and the half inch teardrop, you know, for $45, you know, a half inch drive LP90 ratchet is a great deal. I love the dead blow there, that 47 ounce. Dead blow with the steel face, those are great. Um, I have one similar that I'll show you here in a minute. And just a regular 37 inch pry bar. But what's great about that is that you get the SK warranty. I really want that 24 inch indexing pry bar just coming in soon, it says. So I'll be checking that every day and hopefully I'll be able to snag it for that great deal. And then these are the last couple items here. I like that nine piece ha uh, hammer set, that's a good deal. Monster sledgehammer here, monster adjustable wrench for $65. These are really good deals if you're in the market for them. And then uh, another monster sledgehammer there. The six piece precision plier set I've purchased in the past on steals and deals for about the same price. They are beautifully made pliers. I'll show you them here at the end of this video as well. Okay, moving down, I think this multimeter is pretty cool for 100 bucks. But what's interesting to me here is the LP90 ratchets, right? You get three of them for $150 here. They actually have them listed individually, and you could get them for basically, I believe, under 100 So just if you're interested in them, pick them up individually, save yourself a couple of dollars. And then this is a really great deal on the six-point flex head. Uh, those are standard uh you know sockets and that's you know that's a steal if you look how much they go for and then that monster dead blow okay so what i got here guys is a bunch of stuff i purchased from sk steals and deals in the past or just from sk that is now in the steals and deals so i'll share it with you um, like I said, I got a lot of the stuff on order that is coming in. Um, and when that comes in, I'll do a quick update video. But these are those pliers that were about the micro pliers, the precision pliers, and they are just beautiful. I've only used them on a couple projects. I do have a video on them. They come in a great case of where I do a little review on them. So if you want to go back and check them out. But if you do anything with little wires and electrical work, these are a must-have. And that's a really good uh, deal for 80 something dollars. The pliers here, these are the 16107s, the high leverage. I think these are seven inch. Those are great. Like I said, I'm looking forward to getting some of the six inch pliers, which are similar to my old Craftsman Western Forge ones. Um, I believe these are on the steels and deals as well. Haven't used them much, but they're just great quality pliers. Um, the 15027 model number on those. Um, but there's a lot of ratchets in there, a lot of the LP. Uh, variety and this is the 11 inch flex head i've had it for a while when i first got it i opened it up lubed it put it back together um, it seemed pretty well lubed the only concern i have with it is it's just a little bit the selector switch and in time it's breaking in when i first got it it was definitely more uh it was very stiff but it seems to be getting better it is not a locking flex head which you know is good um so you know there's a 
time and a place for locking and unlocking. But uh, I did order the, the smaller brother of this, the quarter wrench, and I'll share that with you when it comes in. The half moon wrenches I've owned for a while. I don't think I ever used them. They're just specialty wrenches. But like I said in the video, they don't have that nice SK chrome on them, but you can't beat it for the price. Uh, there was a lot of mechanic gloves in there. I've used them for a couple of things. I like them because they have the padded hand, um, you know, in the palms and the key spots, especially if you're using an impact gun or something like that or a drill, they work great. I do want to let you know this, you got to buy for $17. This is a large pliers. It's hard to, you know, maybe the video is not showing. These are the 12 inch. Um, I've used them a couple times so far. It's the largest set of kind of channel locks I have. And they are great for $17. 75, 12 is the model number on that. And they're beautiful with the flush joint. Can't beat that. I think I paid 23 or 24 the last time they were on uh, steals and deals. The index and pry bars. This one says coming soon. This is the eight inch one. I've bought this one in the past. I love it. Use it for so many things. It, it, you'll never use a regular pry bar again once you own one of these. That's why I went and bought the two larger ones that they did have available. This one hopefully will be available. It says coming soon. Um, these are about $35 each uh, on the steals and deals. They are not cheap, but they are worth it. And you get the warranty. I mean, you could do so much with this from a leverage perspective. I bought the 12 inch, the 16 inch. They'll be coming in shortly. And I'm hoping that 24 inch comes in. The handles are great on them. They're, they're super sturdy love this if you haven't i would say at least get the the medium size one i actually like the small one i use it a lot but i would recommend at least get the 12 inch one or you know and you'll use it a lot and then the dead blows i bought this in the past this is the small one I believe this is an eight ounce you know but these are this is the slim line I don't use regular rubber mallets anymore. I don't use regular ball peen hammers anymore. I love these ones with the have the shot in it with the dead blow. These are all trusty cook, which are essentially SK. Trusty Cook makes them for SK. This is the gear inch one. Uh, same exact thing, made in the USA. Uh, they brand them for all Stamaco, I believe. I don't know if snap on, but and this is the larger one. Um, I want to say this is 45 ounce maybe can't remember exactly so i did end up getting the larger slim line uh, i think because I, I do like that it's a little bit uh streamlined there and i think i got the 26 ounce can't remember i'll share that with you when i get in so guys it's father's day do like i did buy yourself a couple of things off the steals and deals hey you'll feel good about it because you're getting a great great deal um and uh please share in the comment section if you bought anything if there's things on there that you know about um if there's things you wanted to share um that you know not to buy maybe or you had bad experiences with please let me know uh, but i love sk and overall the steals and deals this month are fantastic so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one